Welcome everyone. Today we are talking about the aftermath of Galadriel and Halbrand's dealings with Numenor. Arondir has escaped and is back with Bronwyn and her son. The Harfoots are learning about Meteor Man. And Elrond and Durin IV are friends, but can they keep dwarf elf relations from falling apart? We are talking about the preview of Episode 5, which comes out tonight at midnight. We start off in the glade where Galadriel was gifted passage to Valinor. It looks like Elrond is there with Gilgalad. And they will be speaking, but it does seem ominous, that white moonlight lighting up the background and casting a silhouette on our characters does not bode well. We see the Mithril exchange hands as Celebrimbor states, nothing diminishes its light. We talked about how Elrond would keep his friend's secret, but perhaps the Mithril was discovered after all. Now what is he to do? Galadriel spins two swords around as she prepares for a fight. Is she still on Numenor? She was told that she would be sailing to Middle-earth with a company of Numenorians. I wonder if that plan has already fallen apart before it started. Meanwhile, Halbrand stares at his necklace intensely. Many believe that necklace is the key to uncovering his true identity, as well as Sauron's, but maybe he is just as confused as us. He tells Galadriel he swore never to return, and it seems like she is still pushing this idea of him retaking his ancestral place as leader of the people of the Southlands, but he is not happy about it. A reluctant king, much like Aragorn, but will he be on the side of good or evil? We see the people from the village gathering and they are frightened or upset about something. We know the orcs gave them an ultimatum to bring the sword that Theo found. I don't know why they just don't give it back. They don't know what it is and it looks like just a broken sword to them. It has no value. They really shouldn't be risking their lives over just a broken piece of metal. What do you think? We see the ships of Numenor preparing to set sail from the harbor, as our Farazan tells Isildur that when this is all over, elves will take orders from Numenor. He is really starting to lean into his role as a villain, as many book readers will no doubt be aware of. The Meteor Man is once again confused about something. This time, it's on his arm. Hopefully it helps him figure out who he is soon. The forces of good really need his help. Bronwyn finds the blade that Theo has been hiding all along. I wonder what she will do or if she even knows that this is the blade that the orcs are after. And if so, will she give it up to save her people? Adar tells his orcs it is time and to ready the legions. This is a scary thought. There are currently no armies to defend the people of the Southlands. The elves have all fled, and the humans are disbanded into small towns, easy to pick them off one by one. Galadriel is fighting multiple people at once, but they don't look like Numenorians. I can't tell if they are elves or humans, but one thing's for certain, Galadriel knows how to make friends everywhere she goes, doesn't she? Sadduk watches on in terror as a few Harfoots are about to be devoured by a wild war. I wonder if we will see the true strength and purpose of the Meteor Man in this moment. What do you think? Let us know down below and remember to please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.